Today we are going to be talking about boundaries, or our sense of personal space. Let's watch and learn more about boundaries. Two friends are going to be talking about their weekend. Let's watch what happens when a girl from their class joins their conversation. So how was your weekend? It was great. We got a new dog and I spent the whole weekend taking care of it and taking it on walks. That's cool. I always wanted a dog. What did you name it? It's a chocolate lab so we named her Coco. Nice. Hey guys, what's up? Um, you're a little too close. Oh, sorry. That's okay. What's happening with you? Our personal space may change depending on where we are. But most of the time, it is about an arm's distance away from another person. How do you think the boy felt when his friend was a bit too close? Standing too close or too far away can make others have red feelings, like confused, uncomfortable, or frustrated. Are you two going to stay after school for Lego Club? Yes. No, I can't. I have to go to the dentist after school. Sorry to hear that. I hope it goes well. Gotta get going. Up, uh, okay, bye. How do you think the boy was feeling when his friend tried to give him a hug and kiss goodbye? What can he do next time if that happens again? Let's watch one more short scene with three guys watching a video together. Are they showing good boundaries? Is that the new Spider-Man game that just came out? Yeah, it's awesome looking. Check out these graphics. I can't see it. Uh, Eric, what are you doing? I'm frustrated. I can't see. Okay, well you're kind of in my personal space right now. We are all trying to see the movie. What if you just stand a little behind me and look over my shoulder? Is that better? Yeah, that's better. Thanks. How do you think that Eric made his friends feel when he was in their space and when he became frustrated? What do you think you would do in the same situation? Personal space refers to a person's body, the area around them, things that they own, and where they are, like their desk or bedroom. What do we do to respect personal space? We may do things like ask first, knock before entering, and stay arm's distance away. It also helps to look at someone's face to see if they are showing red facial expressions. We are going to talk more about boundaries in personal space and practice what it means to have good boundaries. When we are aware of others around us, it helps others to have green feelings, like happy, comfortable, and relaxed.